Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to activate the self-diagnostic procedure to help troubleshoot a non-working heated seat on a BMW. The car I'm working with here today is a 1997 BMW 540i. This particular procedure is intended for the rotary style heated seat switch circuit. Information is quite limited for this procedure. I am unsure if it applies to the newer style switches too. If someone is able to test this procedure out on a newer style switch, if you could post the results in the comments below, that would certainly help out fellow viewers. With the rotary style switch, it uses a potentiometer and typically operates between 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 42 degrees Celsius or 107 degrees Fahrenheit. This circuit does have a temperature sensor which regulates the heated circuit. If there is a fault with the circuit, once the switch is activated, the green light will illuminate for a moment and then shut off immediately to prevent further damage. To activate the testing procedure, the ignition must be turned off first. Press and hold the heated seat switch with the fault. Turn the ignition on, no need to start the vehicle. Do this while still holding the switch. Release the button and then press it briefly again and then a code sequence will activate. The light will flash and then longer pauses in between to demonstrate breaks between the fault. One flash indicates a fault with the switch. The switch can have either failed or is overheating due to a short. Two flashes means a faulty temperature sensor, either a break or short in a circuit, which this is doing, and for three flashes means a broken heated element or a fault with the wiring. I won't be getting into any more testing procedures for this video, however, a heated element can be tested while using a multimeter to measure the resistance, and they typically have a specified ohms reading. Unfortunately, not all BMW models can have the heated seat element replaced separately, as they may come one piece with other components, such as a seat cover. New videos are released every week on my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.